Good morning students. Today we will start with another uh, biology practical session. Today's experiment is separation of plant pigments by paper chromatography. The requirements are chromatography chamber, Portman filter paper number 1, petroleum ether, acetone, spinach and uh, peasant and mortar. The procedure I will explain, then observation, this is the observation, then you should write the conclusions. Now separation, uh, the procedure. So basically you should know what is chromatography. It's a technique to separate various pigments present in the extract. Any plant extract, leaf extract you can take. So how to separate the pigments? So what are the pigments present in plants? They are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, xanthophylls, uh, phycobilins, carotenes, various pigments are there. So by this technique, we can separate the pigments and observe. And here we are using the Wattman filter paper number 1 for the paper chromatography technique. So first you have to take spinach leaves, grind them in vessel, uh, vessel and mortar and you will get a extract. So this extract you will have to uh, put it on the Wattman filter paper which is cut in this form. This is the arrow form. So that the one end is pointed. So at just below the point you will have to impregnate the uh, on at one point the extract of the uh, plant leaf extract, spinach leaf extract. So you should put it many times and allow it to dry. Then you should hang this one here just it will touch the uh, chromatography, the base of the chromatography chamber. Here in chamber, chromatography chamber you are taking the solvent. So uh, solvent is made up of 90 and 10 per, uh, 10, 90 is to 10 ratio of petroleum ether and acetone. So this is the solvent used here. So at the base of the uh, chromatography chamber we take this uh, solvent. Then hang the paper impregnated with the leaf extract. So this is the entire setup and leave it aside. You should place the paper in such a way that the point will touch the solvent. So when this happens the solvent will start rising in the paper. So while doing so what happens? The solvent will rise in the paper and when it touches the extract, the extract, the contents or the pigments present in the extract will dissolve in the solvent and then they also start moving along with the solvent. So as they move based on the density of the pigment, they will stop moving at certain distances. So chlor chlorophyll A is, so here this is the exact setup of the experiment. So when the solvent is moving upwards, the denser uh, chlorophyll B is very denser. So after moving to certain uh, distance, it will stop its movement. So and then further the solvent will move and further other dissolved pigments also will move. At another certain point, the chlorophyll A will stop its movement. Then again the flow solvent will move upwards and at certain point the, there will be a yellow region that is the xanthophyll region. Then after still further movement of the solvent, the carotenes will, will find a yellow band that is of the carotenes. So like this, on the, on the Wattman filter paper, you will find various bands like this. Okay. The first band is of chlorophyll A which is olive green in color or oh, sorry chlorophyll B which is olive and green, olive green in color. Then chlorophyll A that is uh, bluish green in color. Then yellow colored one is the xanthophyll pigment and then orange colored band is the carotene pigments. So this way at various distances the bands are formed. So this is the way how the pigments are separated by chromatograph paper chromatography technique. So conclusion is the spinach leaves will have so many pigments in it though it appears green in color. So ultimately you should say that the spinach leaves will have four pigments which are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, xanthophylls and the carotenes. Yes.